All right, well, let's get started. I think I can sync my sound up to this. Um, I don't know how to do a clap thing on it because I'm using my cell phone to get the audio because um, my computer's such a piece of trash that it won't um, play audio through even these. So I'm just going to fake it. So what I'm going to do is just... Uh, um, wing it I guess so I'm going to refresh the page and then maybe we'll know where we're at right now there we go all right so this is the new tc uh, overland.com website and like I said I've been working on a uh, basically let's get this over here so I can kind of look at what I'm doing since it's didn't matter. And what we're doing is trying to, I'm trying to create a community that handles all um, overland kind of DIY um, types of campers to do, um, how to build them, um, making a, a, what do they call it, a, a hauler crawler or crawler hauler, which are more like big flatbed trailers with a, a camper built onto it or a regular truck camper on top of a gooseneck and then you can take your toys with you at the same time. So it, it's kind of a community that will embrace all aspects of overlanding um, from teardrops, square drops, um, big um, overland beast. You know, somebody goes out and buys a big deuce and half army truck and turns it into a camper, whatever you want to do, because the community is really for RVing, overlanding, whether you like um, having a, a rooftop tent or um, a giant camper or an RV or a diesel pusher that you have some toys with, and you take it off road and you go camping. You, I don't know if you can hear that lightning and thunder. It's pretty cool. We're going to be getting some rain. For sure. I wish I was camping right now. Um, so that's what I'm doing with that. So here you can see right now there's not much on it because I just started putting it together. We just got the uh, GIF, uh, Giphy thing on there to where you can post Giphys and you can actually type in what you're looking for and get that. Um, I've been putting a few other people's um, videos on there and then and then trying to go on their website. But YouTube's such a, a control freak bitch that if you put a link on there, it, it, it kind of returns an error or you have to, you can't even go there sometimes. But trying to get people to say, hey, you know, if you, uh, if you put this, um, your videos to share them on, on this community, um, then you're just sharing a link, really. That's how I do it with all my videos on uh, Prepper Guy. It's just a, a YouTube video, whether it's, um, um, what do they call it, unlisted or private or you know pro uh, public. I get the views, even though people are watching it on PrepperGuy.com. So if you're worried about your view count, not a problem, but you can do um, some, you know, shameless plugs on your video here. See, like, I, you know, I got this, you know, thing here. RV can't, uh, companies are going bankrupt and all that. Here's a link to this video. But you could put in a link to a T-shirt or something else you do. We're not control freak asshats here at TC Overland. You know, maybe you're down the road or something. If people want to um, have a little bit more access to how they put ads on here, if they want a sidebar ad or something like that, we'll get to that. But right now, you can put some links in there if, if you get really creative. I'm going to try to show you this one here because um, I am also the prepper guy. Um, so this is my channel here. And they look pretty good. So far, it's looking pretty good. You know, I just put that on there, got my logo on there. And then uh, 
Nobody's following me because it's just me, and then I'm the, also the administrator up here, so <laughs> not a big community just yet. If I go into my timeline here, you can see that I posted this one here about, you know, same thing. I'm trying to promote my own website as a, as a member. Um, YouTube, share your videos here. Counts towards your views on YouTube, but you know that. But did you know that if you add your your videos here, you can add a shameless plug or two? So I, I put a um, just this GIF of you know shameless plug. But if you click on that, boom, takes me over to my T-shirts on on uh, on Amazon. Now you could probably do this with a a, a lot of different um, things, you know, um, affiliate links and stuff like that. So um, kind of do whatever you want. I got this video on here from the prepper guy, you know, where I just put these uh, Viver um, truck bed toolboxes on, on the truck. And if you click it, it just starts playing it. So it works just like if you shared that video anywhere else, if you have a website and stuff. And so I could put a, a, another shameless plug on here, you know, to where I could have my T-shirts or something like that. But uh, I'm not really working on that just yet. Now, um, I don't know on this link here. So I got a, I got the, the Prepper Guy shop. So people wanted to look around. Here's, you know, one of my favorite ones right here is just the... Uh, in preps we trust and uh, prepper guy and prepper gal. So, you know, I could, I could link all that to it. I haven't figured out right now, getting this on here was kind of a chore because it said I, I had too many links going on. So I had to uh, do something, but uh, I think it was treating this as a link. And I don't know if I added that to this one down here, if uh, the back end of the, the, the community, you know, uh, would freak out, you know, because I'm using a theme and a platform for this, which is called Buddy Boss. I'll, I'll, you know, I didn't write this fucking shit. I'm not that smart. But see, now you have my, I have my YouTube uh, uh, link right here. So maybe if I tried to show another link, you know, to a t-shirt, it, it, it might get freaked out. Now, I'm logged on as the administrator right now. So I don't think I can edit this. I can delete it and turn off notifications and stuff and pin to the feed because this is my timeline in this community. But uh, if I was logged in up here as me, then I could I could edit that and maybe try to put in, and, and I'll, I'll probably try to do that. So really, it's pretty easy for right now. You just go to uh, tcoverland.com, and, and, and this thing just it takes you right to this here, you know, the community feed, which is everything. And so it's got my posts and everything. On this side now, we got the uh, members. There's me and me, my alter ego administrator, and then me. And, and uh, I think a lot of people, according to some of the stats, are going to the website now, but they're they're not signing in. Now I've tried this. Sometimes my uh, my cash gets full. But I'm going to try this going into an incognito window and see what it would do. Like if you just typed in for the first time. Now see it says activate your account, which is is not what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to take you to the activities feed cancel whatever so we're not going to do that and maybe it's because my camera's running and it's freaking it out but uh on my other thing here which is uh napolitano let's see if i got that still loaded in there yep here's where it should take you see to the community feed and nobody's signed in, and uh, 
This window seems to be bigger than the other one, which is kind of fucked up. Um, so up here in the top right corner, it says sign in. And I think a lot of people are not signing in and creating a free account, which is, I, I think, what's happening. So that other window is a little different, which I don't understand. Let me, yeah, you know, I'm not in that big of a hurry. There it is. So when I shrink it down a little bit. Hmm. There it is. All right. So this is uh, here. And, you know, it gets confusing because uh, these little tabs are kind of funky. So then if I wanted to... Um, It's not what I want to be. I want to be right here. There it is. So now it says um, sign up, basically. So I could do that and and then it goes to this page where it just asks for your email and uh, it confirms it, which keeps people from mistyping and then going, hey, I never got the email. And then it asks for your password twice. And it does that for the same reason, because people lock themselves out by not checking it. So this confirms it. And then you click, I agree to the terms and service, which are really nothing. Terms of service, just say, hey, we're all friendly here. Don't be a dick. So um, that's that's where that would take you on that one. And then uh, sign in. That's me. So I sign in as the prepper guy. Now my logo is up here. If you see that up here in this uh, corner. So now I can interact with these posts. I can go over here and actually edit this post. Because now I'm on the community feed, but I'm logged in. So now I can join groups. I can, I can message other members and stuff. And and you know, if I sound a little confused, it's just because I've only been working on this since uh, Thursday and Friday uh, of last week, and so I haven't got it all up in my head even. Uh, but it's still working really good. You can join groups. Uh, there's a couple blog posts I've written, and then if you get somewhere and you're just like how do I get back to wherever I'm at? You can either click this, you can click the activity feed or the community activity feed here. Because, you know, I don't like a lot of these social sites that are all just kind of goofy and wonky. It's kind of fucking irritating. So I've tried to at least make getting back home better. So I could try to go in here and uh, I think this is in a, in a, in a group, camper building group. And then this is the one where I put that on my truck. So see now if I click on this, I could edit. And see there's already this link. So if I put in another one, I don't know what it would do. Uh, I, I don't have a link to my t-shirts or something, but I'm gonna work that out because I believe in, in being able to, to market shit. So, I mean, here's the link to that. So that's just, if you don't mind, I mean, if you don't mind bearing with me here while we force Gump our way through this, let's go back down to this one with my toolbox. Hit that, hit edit. And I'm going to set it right here. Now it's going to put it ugly ass thing on here yeah so if i close that nice job what are you talking about there go close that um well, i'm going to update and see what happens see if it gives me crap see it says you have posted too many links so what i'm going to do is go back here 
And I think it just took all that and just chucked it out the window, which is fine. What if I go down below that link? Because sometimes these these uh, programs and plugins on the computer really kind of turn into jackasses. Okay, so now I still have that. This is the link that does this video because it's YouTube. And then this is that. So update post. Okay. Yep, it's still telling me I have too much shit going on. So, all right. Well, I will work on that. But you can still put a shameless plug in there. And I think on one of them where I did a couple, I think it was this one. I actually think I I deleted the URL from YouTube because it's just like on Facebook. If you share or put a link to YouTube on there, then it has it. And then you can delete that. But the video thumbnail and the video still work without that link now being part of your message. And I think I deleted that. And then I added this Amazon one. So uh, as I get this more and more figured out, I will let you guys know. So here's the scoop or the dealio. Um, I really want this to be for, um, back down there, down boy, um, to be for community members that either build RVs, have, you know, there's a couple of really good videos by uh, Dog Patch Production. He builds a lot of little campers. He's built some teardrops. He, he's a hot rod nut, so he's got some old 50s classic that matches old Shasta RV and stuff like that. But he, he you know, I think he kind of does this for a living, but he's got really good advice. And I've watched like 20 or 30 of his videos and, and really interesting. And I wish he could share that here and get involved and maybe create a group and then interact with people. So you go, I want to build one of those too. How'd you do that? Uh, there's one guy, I think it's a, uh, um, Code Brown or something like that. Um, he does a lot of uh, the crawler haulers. So he took a really nice, just a, a flatbed trailer. I think it's 25, 24 foot. And then he built a little seven by seven, kind of almost like a little camper, like a sleeping quarters on it. And then he's he can put his Jeep in the back and that's a crawler hauler. And uh, you know, if he would get involved, because his his design, I'm going to steal from mine. I have a 25 foot trailer out in my barn that I'm going to build a kind of. It's not a it's not a, a gooseneck or a fifth well, but I'm going to take it like a camper, and I'm going to go up to the edge, up and over the tongue, like in a camper for a truck, and that'll be the bed. And then down here there can be a shower, and then outside there'll be the kitchen and stuff like that and then i can still take my quads now i don't i don't take big vehicles so it's just going to be my quad and all that so i'm going to steal some of his ideas because he's really great and i would like him to get on this community so if you are a person that builds teardrops square drops crawler haulers anything dealing with rv and if you if you like going base camp you know, with a, a trailer that just has your kitchen in it and a rooftop tent. Join this community. It's free. Don't forget to click on the sign up and then sign up. Then you get a valid, you know, uh, um, activate your link that it gives you like a key. And when you click that, you just log in and you're, you're gone. It's free. So I don't really give a shit about having memberships and charging people money. It's kind of like my hobby. And I think if the community grows enough, then maybe we could do some kind of advertising things for something, get some sponsors, something like that, and, and, and make money without members having to pay something. I might put a, a buy, uh, buy me a coffee link on there or something, but I'm not a Patreon fan and I don't like PayPal all that much. So uh, somehow I'll get a link on there to buy me a coffee for, you know, five bucks a month or something like that. 
because this is not free. I mean, I have a job, so I work, and, and that makes me happy. But uh, this is kind of fun. But I'm thinking if we start getting, you know, 20, 30,000 members on this group, then bandwidth and and speed might start getting wonky with my uh, hosting. And I might have to up it a bit. And that might go from what I pay now to double or triple. So, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to need to figure out how to make some money somehow. Maybe I'll sell Girl Scout cookies. But um, for now. It's free. Go check it out. Just go to www.tcoverland.com. All one, just one word, tcoverland.com. Should take you there. If it gives you any shit and you get into any problems or it's not doing what I just showed you it's supposed to do, you can uh, you can email me at mark at tcoverland.com or as always, mark at prepperguy.com because I've had that for about 10 years. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This is that the progression of the TC Overland community build. Talk to you guys all later. Love you. Bye-bye.